everybody today I am going to make a yogurt cheese we're going to use this yogurt we're going to use a glass bowl a strainer and you want a cutter a piece of cutter and that don't release any lint or you can use a cheesecloth so it's very easy you're going to use all the contents of this and we're going to Pour it into and we're just going to let that sit for the night. So in the next forty eight hours, twenty four to forty eight hours, it should be ready. Let me give you a closer view as to what it looks like. So you're going to let this drain out all that liquid. You see all that liquid that this has in it? We want all that liquid to drain out. So I will show you what it looks like same time tomorrow, please the Lord. Take it up like this. We are going to place this in the refrigerator. So you have seen how much water has been removed from the yogurt. And this is what it looks like after 24 hours. I am going to place it in a plate or you could put it in a dish. And we are going to personalize it. So all I'm going to add is the following ingredients. Some cilantro, some parsley, some thyme, a pinch of each. You don't have to put too much because these are strong herbs. So you want to be not too generous with the amount you put in and salt to taste. I added pepper flakes to this as a garnish and then mix it in after. But you don't necessarily need to add pepper flakes to this, whether it be a garnish or in it as well. You can just omit that completely if you're not looking for that spicy taste. But I'm telling you, it is really nice once you add that little spice and enough salt so you can taste it. It is heaven. <laughs> I'm going to add it into a container and place it in the fridge. So I'm adding all of it. And as I said, the pepper flakes was added after as a garnish. How I enjoyed eating this yogurt cheese. I had this with some pumpkin bread toast. The link for my pumpkin bread will be above and in the end screen. And I also had it with some crackers. So let me show you how I put the toast together. However, with the crackers, when I had them, I didn't add any of my syrup and note the syrup would be above and also at the end screen. Take it with me as I prepare a very healthy aversion to the traditional fry fish cake. We're going to bake it today. So step in the kitchen. Let's get cracking with this fish cake. 